Well, today I will talk about another case, fish disease case number 24, about an epistogramma panduro. What you can see in the video here is that one particular male was already having some fin damage, looking skinny. You can see that the body is not well formed anymore. The colors are not perfectly. So the fish is getting weakening and it starts with one fish in a whole bunch of other fish, which looking pretty good. So we take out the weak fish and we make an examination. Here we, we couldn't find anything on the, on the skin tissue. And we could see that some of the gills were not well formed. You can see some melting, how we can say melting or uh, scrambling together of the, the gill lamellae, so damage of the gill tissue. So that needs some stress factors for having an impact on the gills. It could be pathological, it could be chemical. And here we also see other parts of the gills were badly, uh, the, the, not deformed, but badly formed. And that can be a cause of internal problems, it can be a cause of bacterial diseases. It can be different cases, but the thing we could see that the, the guilt issue was in not a very good stage, not advanced, but still showing that there were some lesions. And when we go internal to check the fish, we check the intestine and we found these kind of black uh, swellings or organisms inside intestinal tissue, intestinal walling. A mag bigger magnification, we could see again those inclusions which are uh, somewhat encapsulated in the, uh, in the tissue. Here we see more of them. And well, in most cases, well, we would send it to the laboratory. We didn't do it because it's always a price decision we make that it would cost us money. But in many cases, particularly dwarf cichlids, epistogramma, one of two species that are very prone or likable to, to get a tuberculosis or mycobacterial infection. So the, the major problem we found in the weakening of this fish was those uh, amount of tubercles in, infecting the, the organs. And there is no cure for this tubercle because the medication cannot treat, like I explained in my YouTube videos on mycobacterium that nasty bacterial infection, which is uh, sometimes common in certain species of fish. So there's no good treatment really we can do. What we can do is, is avoid a heavy tank load. That means avoiding dense fish populations, avoiding poor water conditions. We should think about that. Avoid poor feeding practice. That means, for example, avoiding feeding, feeding with mosquito larvae uh, which are carrying mycobacterium, which is a, it's an ex found in science and studies that can be a problem. So we can help the fish in the, giving the best conditions we can do. And, and the fish are very sick, we better euthanize or remove them because they can be a risk of spreading the disease. And be careful for your hands and your tools, particularly your hands for a zoonosis risk on wounds can have an effect. So I explained that also in some of my YouTube videos. I recommend for the treatment, well, like I said, you can do some prevention treatments and removing the very sick fish. And meanwhile, you can feed the other fish with pro and prebiotics to give the fish support for self-defense and repairing the damaged gills. And therefore we recommend the feeding of 20 days with our Dr. Basley Herbivus Food Forte or the professional treat or the fuco, which are all feet, feet which have a particularly help for the fish so it can repair and survive better the infection and, and live with it for a long time because they can live a long time with this kind of infection, except for the fish who are badly, badly damaged. So that's the ones you have to remove. So these are some suggestions I can give you for epistogramma uh, panduro treatments because those treatments uh, are not always so effectively but still some fish have very little infection and that very little infection, the fish can live a long time with it. And you cannot see, you cannot open all the fish and examine it. But uh, my suggestions for a proper care and a proper feeding will help you to have a better survival rate uh, with epistogramma and other dwarf cichlids. Wish you good luck in the hobby. Thank you.